Sweetie Pie, I have a book for you. Make sure the sound's right. I have a book to read you. But I have somebody who would like to listen to the book with us. I know it's a little bit strange. But that happens here. A truck. A tractor to be to be um to to be uh, accurate. It's a very good tractor. You'll notice that the wheels see how they move independently, which is what you need when you're out in a field that isn't paved. And tractors pretty much are in fields. And then these big tires in the back. And see they move independently too. Um this this is even more so. But this one, the big ones in the back, can handle big things. And then here you have the spot where you, the person puts their foot, and then another step, and then you climb in and sit behind the wheel and drive and go choke, 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 choke. What, of course, you wouldn't be in the air. You'd be on the ground. Choke, 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 choke. And then you notice that back here, there's a little hole because that is where they attach whatever they're pulling, which is often something. It could be many things. And then see this little diamond? Uh, uh, not diamond. Uh, I think I remember for long ago in mathematics, they call that a triangle. Um, at any rate, that is, uh, what does that mean? Caution. And then they've got the lights back here. This is a very well done little little thing. It's made by John Deere is the company. So you can name this tractor if you want. But for right now, I'm going to call put Mr. John Deere right up here. There we go. So he can listen to the book with us. Okay. Angelina and, whoops. Ha <laughs> ha. He fell. So what I'm going to do is put him right on the table next to me because I don't, well, I guess I could try it up here. Okay, let's see if that works. It's not working. He's right on my nose. Okay, Mr. Deer, you sit right here. Okay, Angelina and Henry. He can see it perfectly. There's Angelina and Henry. Angelina and her cousin Henry are camping with Uncle Louie in the big mountains. While the mouselings are out exploring, they get lost deep in the forest. Night is falling. A storm is brewing. And is that big cat behind the trees? Luckily, Angelina is brave enough to calm Henry's fears and her own. That's telling us what the book is about on the back. Often they do that there, or sometimes they do that right here which they just did right here. Same thing. Hi, Gabby. I think I already fed you, my dear. Did you want some more? They're very excited because I finally have their regular, you know, their good cat food. They're very excited. Do you mind if I go feed her? I'll be right back. You wait here, Mr. Tractor. Okay. I'll wait here. I mean, I'll be right back. Come here, my Gab. Okie dokie, smoky. That is a very good meal. That is a very good meal. Okie dokie, smoky. I'm back. Okie dokie, smoky. Angelina and Henry. Oh, you know, we always look at the inside cover and sometimes it's just colors. Oh, but this one is a very happy hiking little mouse, Angelina. Same picture right here, but I love it enough I could look at it twice. Oh, it's just delightful. You know what's kind of cool? is it's the reverse. This one, she's facing this way. And this one, she's facing that way. 
That's kind of cool. Oh, the people that make books do things so carefully. Angelina and Henry. Story by Catherine Hollabird. Illustrations by Hen Helen Craig. Hollabird. That's an interesting last name. Angelina could hardly wait to go camping in the Big Cat Mountains with Uncle Louie. Let me show you the picture before I read the words. These are really wonderful pictures. Look at this. The detail. Oh my goodness, look at this. I love these kind of pictures. Oh, the detail. And it's watercolor, so you get that sort of wash feeling. Like pen and ink and watercolor. See? And then, look, even the little clasps on her little hiking jacket. His hat, the little guy's hat, the maps, the binoculars, this map. You just get a feel for this. I wonder why they have that picture of a cat right there, almost like a wanted poster. Oh, wow, and look at the, the carpentry things that he has. Scissors. Uh, it's not a compass, but kind of. I forget what that's called. A triangle, a T-square, and then the paintings on the wall. Oh, I love this. And even the clasps on these really cool windows. And this. Oh man, paints and a painting and the, oh wow. And the desk with all sorts of things on it. And look here, what is that, a figurine? In the shape of mice. Okay, I'll read the story now. Angelina could hardly wait to go camping in the big, mount, in the big cat mountains with Uncle Louie. I'll dance under the stars, she smiled as she spun around the room. Little cousin Henry showed off his pa Panama hat. I'm going to be a great explorer, he announced. Are you fit and fearless? Uncle Louie asked with a wink. That's a wink. That's a wink. That's a wink. Are you fit and fearless, Uncle Louie asked with a wink. Big Cat could still be up there. They even have a trash can with trash so neatly in it. I love this little room. They set off early the next morning with Mrs. Mouseling's cheese crumpets still warm in their pockets. Look, she's all geared up for it. She's got water and a cup tied to this so her hands are free. There's little butterflies and flowers along the path. You know what you do with flowers. You lean up and smell it avec ton nez, with your nose. Oh, look at all the flowers on the path. And here's the path as they go hiking. Oh, those are beautiful. Another butterfly and little flowers along the way. Mountain flowers are usually small, but beautiful. At first, Angelina skipped and twirled along the winding trail. Then she noticed Uncle Louie disappearing up the mountain and had to race to catch up. Oh, and uh, little Henry is, is up with Uncle Louie. But she's dancing so much, she's having such a good time. But she has to race to catch up. As they climbed higher and higher, Angelina began to feel very hot and tired. There's Henry, and there's Uncle Louie. Henry happily jogged ahead of her. You're too slow, Angelina, he teased. Big Cat will get you. 
My backpack is so heavy, moaned Angelina. Only another mile or two to go, Uncle Louie encouraged her. There's the path. Henry's got a lot of energy, but Angelina's getting tired. She does have a lot in her backpack. That gets you tired. At last, they reached the top of the mountain, and Angelina collapsed with a sigh. Whew. Whew. We've got to set up camp before sunset said Uncle Louie, showing Angelina and Henry how to unpack. Can we have our campfire now? Angelina asked hopefully. You'll need to collect some wood, Uncle Louie replied. While I put up the tents, Henry scampered off into the trees. Let's explore, he shouted, waving a stick. We'll have to get the firewood first, Angelina reminded him. Your mom and I have gone camping many times, and we would go to a different spot each night on some of the trips. So we would travel during the day, and then we'd get to where we're going and have to set up camp. But if we didn't, if we were, ex, you know, uh, what's the word, adventurous and exploring further and further, then we would get to the spot without much time before dark to set up. So there have been times when we had to set up camp by the light of our car or flashlight um, and it's not as much fun when you can't see but the adventure getting there was fun we would just go exploring all up the main coast that way it was wonderful now they're setting up their tent but they have to get the firewood but it was much more fun exploring and soon the two little mouselings were deep in the forest They are having a good time exploring, and they kind of forgot that they were going to get firewood. They're playing hide and seek and looking in different places and hiding in fun places in the trees and in bushes. They played hide and seek and sword fighting, and then they discovered a secret fort. Before long, they'd forgotten all about Uncle Louie and collecting firewood. When they finally stopped to look around, the forest was growing dark and shadowy. The wind was beginning to whistle, and strange shapes loomed behind the trees. That's what darkness and shadows do. Daytime you can see and you know what you're seeing, but in darkness you don't, and things, shadows seem much bigger. And with less definition, it's harder to tell what they are. It can get a little frightening. Um, Henry dropped his stick. I'm hungry, he whimpered. That's another thing, wanting to eat. There's the wind. Meow! 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 That's a beautiful sound to us. It's not a beautiful sound to a mouse. Something howled behind them. What's that? Henry squeaked. He grabbed Angelina's tail. Two large ears twitched behind a tree. Aha. Uh -huh. like two eyes of cat. Maybe those are the ears. Those are the cat's legs. Could be. Hard to tell for sure. It's just a shadow, whispered Angelina, pulling Henry into the fort. A black tail flashed by in the wind. That sure does look like the tail of a cat. Big cat's coming, wailed Henry, hiding his eyes. 
and he didn't say it like that. If he wailed it, he said, Big cat's coming, wailed Henry, hiding his eyes. We'll just have to be brave, said Angelina, and she leaped out into the dark night. Shoo, 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 she shouted, waving her sword. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Rain pelted down and thunder roared. Then lightning struck and a big branch crashed to the ground. Big Cat vanished. They're frightened. Look at the little guy. He's so scared. And look at this. They don't know where there's two eyes or what is that? Poor Henry's whiskers were trembling. Angelina held him close. And while the storm raged around them, she made, made up songs and silly jokes to comfort him. That is a sweet, sweet big cousin to do that for her little, her little cousin who's so scared. Look at him. He's so scared. And that looks like the eyes of an owl. And owls eat mice, too. It may not be, but they don't know, and it's frightening. But she made up songs and silly jokes to comfort him. Finally, the wild winds passed. Angelina was soaking wet, but she kept Henry cozy and warm. She gathered him up and set off through the woods, calling for Uncle Louie. She was soaking wet, but she kept little Henry cozy and warm. What a nice cousin. That's nice. She gathered him up and set off through the woods, calling for Uncle Louie. Suddenly, Angelina stopped. Two yellow eyes were glinting through the trees. It's not an owl. It's their Uncle Louie. Angelina! Henry, thank goodness you're safe. It was Uncle Louie with two lanterns. He hugged the little mouselings and then carried Henry to the campsite with Angelina lighting the way. Oh, look at them. Look at them right here. They're hugging their Uncle Louie. Uncle Louie, Uncle Louie. Oh, he's so happy and he's hugging Angelina and Henry. Angelina and Henry, he's so happy. They're safe. Oh, and he's carrying his little Henry all the way and Angelina's lighting the way with the lanterns. Oh, this is a fine story. They all made a bonfire together and had a great feast of chestnuts and cheddar burgers. Angelina and Henry promised Uncle Henry they'd never run off again and they told him all about their scary adventure. After supper, Uncle Louie played tunes on his concertina while Angelina and Henry danced around the campfire. They have a good campfire. And they're roasting the chestnuts, and they have more chestnuts, and there's cheddar burgers, and they're dancing around the campfire, and he's playing music on his some kind of accordion-like thing. And the lanterns are inside the tent, which now looks like two tents. And they have their gear stowed safely inside. And if it rains, they can just go inside. And it'll keep them warm. And outside, they're eating outside under the night stars with the warmth of a fire. And they're dancing. Oh, this is grand. This is grand. Before bedtime, they sat out under the stars. I lost my Panama hat, Henry said sadly. But we really scared off old Big Cat, didn't we? Yes, Angelina agreed. And that's because we're both fit and fearless explorers. They scared off Big Cat. And it didn't hurt that there was a clap of thunder and lightning and a big branch that struck nearby. I'm sorry I'm itching so much. It's the season.
but this was one great story. Angelina and Henry. Oh, I like this story, and I like the drawings a lot. All of the drawings and paintings, all of them. Oh, I like this book a lot. There's probably going to be more Angelina and Henry books, I bet you. We'll look for them. That was in the mouse stack that we got. And I think your tractor liked it very much. My hand goes numb sometimes. I don't know why. But anyway, there you go. So I'll use that hand. But I got a whole stack of mouse books. We'll read another time. One is called Tippy Tippy Splash. And one is called Surfer Chick. Though that looks like a chick and not a mouse. And the other ones are upstairs. One was Mice on Ice. And one was A Chew, which I think is about a mouse that sneezes. But I think she's a panda bear. So never mind. That might not have been a stack. Okay. Oh, dear. That was a long time. Okay, sweetie pie. I love you so much. I hope you have a great day. Your little tractor, Mr. Deer, will be waiting when you get here. Bye, honey. Have a great day. Love you to